What's up, it's you, Fate's video, Willy Fool, Lapras Forms Team. Now, I'm going to include this one in the evolution teams we've been doing lately. However, it's not exactly an evolution, but it is a form. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do three Laprases in this battle. I've got a normal Lapras, a normal Lapras G Max, and a shiny. Uh, G Max Lapras to make up the team of three. Quite a difficult team to do. If you do want to check me out on Twitch, people, this is where I do all my live streams, my theme teams, my Pokemon sweeps, shiny guns, all other forms of salty entertainment. Go drop me a follow on there. Now, this first battle was absolutely crazy. This is a battle against uh, Amazon Evan, and we got a very interesting theme team on both sides, too. So, the first Pokemon we got here is going to be the best for Quinn, and I've got my Lapras lead here. Wow. I think the Lapras should, like, I really feel like it should get maybe a baby evolution. That'd be crazy if Everlight or not, maybe another form. So we're gonna Sleep Talk, Rest, Sheer Cold, and Fissure Set. Now, currently, I can't do anything to this Vesquid outside of Sheer Cold. So go for Sheer Cold first turn, and it lands. Combination, like that nickname, by the way, is going to get one shot. So that's gonna give me a very, very icy lead to this battle. Next Pokemon to come out is going to be the, another Vesper. Wow, it's it's a full Vesper team. Now, when you run a full Vesper team, right, you got to have some big, big, you know, what's. Now, we got the um, uh, Lapras. I can go for another Sheer Cold here, right? And it should do the solid job of taking it out. Unfortunately, Sheer Cold is going to miss. Now, the uh, Vesper is going to go for Infestation here, and it's going to be doing some damage to our Lapras over time. So usually with Infestation, the opponent or whatever, whoever you're vested, will generally have Toxic and Infestation to rack up and maybe another sort of like, uh, just a sort of like coverage move there, right? So go for Sheer Cold again and it's going to miss. Uh, we got a Tracked on the Vesquin, so this is unfortunate. I'm trapped in here. Not that I was really going to swap with only three Pokemon and it's obviously just stopping me from attacking. That's the main purpose, right? So Infestation is doing a lot of damage here. I do have Rest of this thing, but I do I do want to get some more sheer colds off against this Vesquin. Like, I want to get as many off as possible here. So, hoping I can get through the Vesquin. I get another sheer cold through, but it misses. I'm like, man, that sucks. Now, we got the uh, combination here of the Vesquin with the Infestation. We got the Attract and Toxic all together. So, that is going to be doing a lot of damage to my Lapras here. Now, I still have two other Laprases in the back here. I'd like to get rid of this thing and not try and uh, just go for rest right away. I've only got a couple of Sheer Colds. I actually, I've only got one left. I was like, you know what? I'm going to go for my final Sheer Cold against this Vesquin. If it doesn't work, then I'm just going to swap in my other Lapras and set up on this Vesquin. That's sort of what I'll think at the moment. I can't go for Fissure, obviously, because it's a flying type Pokemon. Like, all the Vesquins on this team are flying. So, you know, they're, they're flying little bugs and stuff in the air. Now, I could go for Rest here. Then I could go for Sleep Talk. But I feel like I'm just going to keep going for the uh, Sheer Cold here. Then the last move that the Vesquin has is Protect. Oh, I'm going to waste my last Sheer Cold. Like, I wanted to go for another one and take two out, but uh, unfortunately, it's not going to work. So I'm going to get some heavy damage here from Toxic and Infestation uh, this turn, right? So I'm going to be around for like one more turn, but the thing is, I can't go for any attacking moves here because I'm out of sheer cold. and if you go for rest too and you sleep talk and you've got no PP left on the move, it won't actually pick it. So um, that's pretty much done, right? Now I'm going to go for Fissure here. I wish it would have landed. Like, and this is where you need like you need to give like the uh, the best. I need Smackdown. Like Smackdown would have been perfect. Actually, Smackdown would have one shot investment. So Lapras is on its last legs here. It's going to go down to the uh, Infestation, but that is okay. It took out the first Vesquin and had a pretty fun time trying to take the second one out. Now I thought here I might be able to make use of this Lapras here, which was my physical set. So I've got a troll set, a physical set, and a special set. This is going to be a dragon dancing Lapras, which actually isn't all that bad. Now, Lapras has very few physical ice type moves outside of Ice Shard. It also has Avalanche. Now, the bad thing about Avalanche is obviously it's got that, uh, you know, negative priority attached to it. So... What I'm going to be doing, it's actually quite good to run it in G-Max or Dynamax, right? So the uh, Vespin is going to attract me again, and I'm going to get infatuated turn one. So like, you know what? This is probably going to keep going on for the whole battle. So I'm just going for a, a, like Avalanche now. Now, the EVs on that first Lapras, I forgot to say them. That was a max health, obviously, and max defense set with shell armor. Now, this is a water absorb set. So I tried to use all of its abilities as well. So Lapras is going to be going for an avalanche here. Yeah, hopefully, I obviously, I feel like they've probably EV'd their best room like really bulky. Like, definitely max health and probably like max defense or something like that. Or maybe max special defense or 
split defenses, right? So go for Avalanche here. Does a pretty good amount of damage, but Avalanche, I mean, Lapras' attack isn't the greatest in the world. Now, the other moves I had in there, we had Drill Run for a coverage against Electric types, and uh, we also had Avalanche, obviously, as my main stab move, and that works out pretty well, and my water type move was going to be Aqua Tail. Now, you could run Liquidation and stuff if you like. I just went for Aqua Tail for a little bit more, uh, you know, base power. This is mainly meant to be G-Max, but at this stage, I didn't really want a G-Max versing a, a Pokemon that could potentially, like, poison me, so I was going to wait to take this Vesquin out and then try and do something with my final Lapras here, right? Can you imagine, like, uh, an Everlight? Like, a baby form of Lapras with Everlight. That'd be so, so tanky. Like, I'd 100% I'd run a troll set with Rest and Sleep Talk and Fissure and, uh, you know, just, just like my very first one. That'd be really, really hard. And then you could give it Shell Armor so it would never get critted. That'd be awesome. It'd be a pain in the ass to, like, verse, though. So I'm going to go for another Avalanche here. That's pretty much all I can do. I was thinking about setting up some Dragon Dancers, but I thought, nah, with the Infatuation chance, it's 50%. Such a big stat right here. So I'm on 69 health for the moment. Hope I can land the avalanche and I get immobilized by love again. Vespin's got its toxic, its infestation, and it's attracted up on this Lapras too. And it is going to be going down on the next turn. So obviously this turn they'll go for protect. I can't swap into my next one. So I'm just gonna have to. I'm probably just gonna have to go up my let like next Lapras here and just G Max right on the spot and get my G Max move up there. So uh Vespin, at least it can't use protect the next round when I go for my move. Now Vespin isn't really fast either. I mean Lapras isn't very fast either, but the next one I'm running is, uh, it's got a little bit of speed EVs in it. So bye-bye second Lapras. Things are looking bad. There's still five Vespicons to take out. The thing about this though, I do have the type advantage. So uh, like a, a one side of battle could turn, like, turn around if I can get something to happen. So I've got Hydro Pump, Thunder, Psychic, and Blizzard here. I've got on this one, max speed and max special attack. Uh, Lapras has got a lot of bulk already, so I thought I'd go with this set. This is a pretty good set too. Probably almost, this is probably almost very close to a, like, a standard set as well. Now the item I've got in here is Weakness Fossey, which very, very well with its uh, G-Max move as well. But with only three Pokemon, and especially three Pokemon of the same type, I needed to have one really, really decent Pokemon run. So I go for my G-Max residence here, and the best win is going to be going down. Plus, I'm going to get that Veil set up too, which is going to be great. So if any of these best win do have any special attacking moves, it's going to do nothing, and it's going to activate my weakness policy at the same time. So two Bs are down. The next Pokemon we got is, well, it's a best win. Now, I, I'm assuming this one probably has a... Uh, <laughs> It probably has Fury Cutter. So I can go for uh, G-Max Resonance again. I could also go for the Max Lightning too. That would actually uh, be really nice like outside of this because then I could go for Thunder and stuff, which will uh, you know, be a little bit more accurate than Blizzard, yeah? So go for a second G-Max Resonance on the best friend. It is not even going to get a chance to attack. It is going to be one shot. I mean, Fury Cutter Venusaur is smoking trash anyway. So uh, that is three uh, Vespigans down. Now the next Pokemon here is going to be... It's another Vespigan. I like how they're all nicknamed too. They're very, very nice. So this best friend, I'm not sure what it's going to do, right? This I was thinking here, let's go for Max Lightning this time. It, it might not actually take it out, but it will put the electric train on the field, which will be handy for Thunder, right? Which could ha actually help me benefit me down the track. It's not like there's hail falling at the moment. So if I do go for G-Max Resonance, sure, it'll take it out. It'll, it should take it out, but that won't benefit me like the uh, Max Lightning will. Plus, I've only got limited amount of PP on the Blizzard too. Now, the Vespin is going to outspeed me and go for a Defendor there. So... That was actually kind of good that I didn't go for G-Max Resonance. So I feel like that wouldn't have taken out after seeing the damage from Thunder. Like, it would have been very, very close. Like, extremely close. Now, we got Electric Train up on the field, which is going to be very, very good for my Thunder. And that'll also conserve Blizzard's PP, too. Like, let's say if I miss a couple. Well, I've already used up a few already, right? And plus, Vespigan, if you remember, has pressure, too. So I have to watch out for that. Otherwise, I'll quickly, like, lose my disadvantage. I might be able to make use of Thunder for a couple of turns, right? Now, the Vespigan is going to go for a Roost here. So, obviously, they're trying to PP stall me as well. So, get rid of, like, maybe my stab moves, my super effective moves, like Thunder and... Uh, you know, uh, Blizzard, right? So going for Thunder here on the Vesquin, it does very little damage. Also getting rid of the Flying type to there, mainly of Roost. So I've got some options here. I can either go for Blizzard and go for damage or go for Thunder again. I decide to go for the Blizzard. They're going to pop a Defend Order here. So like, okay, 
If Blizzard can hit them here, it should be able to take them out or do like enormous damage to them, right? So Blizzard is going to land here on the Vespin, and that is enough to take out, which is great. That would have been fairly close there. That had plus two in special defense. And if it was like a really bulky set. So the Veil is gone now. The next Pokemon we got here is the, uh, well, it's a Vespin, called I Believe. Very nice, I name there. So this one's got Unnerved. So I don't have any berries, so that's going to be all good. I've got two Blizzards left. Remember I was talking about losing PP because of pressure and, you know, only being the move I would probably go to mostly. So I thought... I can use uh, Thunder here. That'd be great. I might as well use that. There's only two left. Plus, my opponent does have Dynamax and could have access to Max Guard as well. This one is going to be the Dynamax Vescom. So, I was like, okay. That's actually good because next turn I can go for Blizzard. And I, I've got about to live these attacks. So I'm not sure what sort of set this is going to be like. Vescom actually has a good special attack. Um, it can use physical moves too. So, it could be either physical or special. I'm not really going to know until I actually see the damage myself, right? I don't know if it's got any super effective moves out there either. So now Vesquin's going to go for the Max Flutterbite. This is bad because it's going to drop my Special Attack. Plus it's going to do like loads and loads of damage here to my Lapras, yeah? So Special Attack has been dropped, which sucks. Going for the Thunder, it is going to land, does pretty good damage considering. And the big thing here, right, is I got a Paralyze. That was a very, very big move there. Because that's going to allow me to go first. Now I'm thinking, hey, maybe I should just go for Blizzard. Maybe I should just go for it, right? So I decided to go for Blizzard. I only had two of them left anyway. I was like, I've got absolutely nothing to lose here. I need to try and take this Vespin out. So popping the Blizzard, it still didn't take it. It was so close. Vespin's going to get a max knuckle off this time. So I'd say it's a physical set. Lapras is going to take lots of damage there. My only option here, like, I can't go for Thunder because it's too risky. I can't go for Blizzard. So what I'm going to do, right, I'm going to get a weakness policy, which is great. So that's going to give me a plus one and a special attack because remember, I was already at negative one from the max Flutterby. I can go for Psychic here and take out the best one because I know, right, that it's not going to miss. Hydro Pump's too risky as well. If I didn't get the Paralyze that uh, turn uh, earlier on with Thunder, best one would have outspeed me and it would have beaten me there. So the... Uh, Vespin number five is down. All that's left is one more Vespin. And all I've got left right is one more Blizzard. This is go-to time, people. If I miss a Blizzard, I lose. If I hit it, I win. So here we go, people. The prep that has also got pressure too. Not that it matters. It's my last move. I'm going to pop that Blizzard right in here. And we're going to go for it. One more. Thunder is too risky as well. i got to go for the KO here. I've only got 48 health left. Vespin's going to outspeed me with a Bug Buzz here. And Lapras lives on two health. And the Blizzard lands and takes the Vesquin out in one shot. Man, that was such a clutch battle right there. Thank you for the battle, but, uh, Amazon Evan, with your Vesquin team. Man, that was crazy. Like, I definitely got minimum damage on that bug buzz there. That was so crazy. Like, the things that, the RNG that happened in that battle too. Like, I had to pull something out of the hat after that uh, Vesquin with attracted infestation toxic from the start. All right, let's get on to battle two. We've got two battles in today's video. Uh, this one was against uh, Dark, and we got a Copperaja lead this time. And it's, uh, it's a shiny Copperaja. So I've got my Lapras lead. Funny about that. And I'm thinking here, well, I can simply go for a Sheer Cold or a Vision. Let's go for... Uh, you know, sheer cold here. I had some, uh, at least I got what like rid of one last time, so hopefully I can do that this time. So locking in that sheer cold here. I was wondering what Copperaja would do, but then I didn't have to wonder, right? Because it landed first turn, and Copperaja is gonna faint, give me a nice uh, early KO. So that was very, very good. Though. I was very happy about that. Now the next Pokemon to come out is gonna be Graplot. I was a bit of scared of this because it's a good fighting type Pokemon, and it could potentially like destroy my entire team, depending on of course what sort of moves that it was. So I was like, you know what? Let's just keep going for Sheer Cold here. Maybe I might be able to get another one. It's a Rock Smash Technician set. Look at the damage that it did to me too. And it got a defense drop. I was like, man, I'm done in the next one. And Sheer Cold lands again. So I got two in a row. That was good. Like, I would have got swept by a Rock Smash Graplock. And, like, I would have had to quit Pokemon. So Graplock is uh, going to be fainted. That's two Pokemon down. Next Pokemon is the Omaster. So there's, there's a couple of counters here to my team. Now, I'm going to go for Sheer Cold again here because it served me so well in this battle so far. Am I going to outspeed though? I was sort of like, I probably won't. And the uh, Stone Edge is going to land. Since there was a negative one in defense too, um, that definitely was going to take me out. I don't know if I would have lived like without a crit. Maybe I would have. Like, it would have been probably quite close. Next Pokemon is my Lapras. This is the... Uh this is a special attacking uh, G-Max set here. So I was like, okay, I'm going to make use of... Let's get G-Max. 
Then I was like, maybe I shouldn't get G-Max Resonance. I was like, ah, oh, let's just get it up. And well, sometimes you got to get it up. Then I can go for uh, the Max Lightning afterwards. And if it hits me with a Stone Edge, it'll activate Weakness Pause as well, making my Lapras a very, very powerful Pokemon there. And that'll be very, very nice too. I like how um I, I do have to like uh, G-Max's Lapras design. I like how they uh, changed its shell there. That's probably my most favorite bit about it. And the, the, the icicles sort of like kind of like flying around it. They didn't really change its like face too much. They made its, I think they made its neck maybe a little bit longer to, uh, or maybe that's just me looking at its shell. No, no, the shell's a bit higher, so maybe they made its neck longer. That's what I feel anyway. So uh, we're going to go for the G-Max Resonance here, which is going to be very good getting my G-Max uh, move happening there. Our master takes a lot of damage, but it doesn't take it out. I was like, man, that sucks. It was not very effective, I guess, but that was like, uh, that was like a, res like a, um, a resistor too there. So I've got the veil up, which is great. And I've got the weakness policy up, which is also great. So I can go for any move here. I could either put the Max Lightning on the field to uh, make use of that, or I could put Max Mindstorm on the field to stop any, uh, like, priority moves happening. I mean, Lapras isn't very, like, fast anyway. So I'm thinking, what should I do here? It's like, Max Lightning, or both of them are really good. So in the end, I decided to go for Max Lightning. I felt that would benefit me even more there. So look at the damage that Stone Edge is doing to me right now. It's doing absolutely nothing like Dynamax, uh, Dynamax slash G-Max with the uh, Veil up there made Lapras super, super tanky. Like, if you use Weakness Policy Lapras or G-Max and have the uh, the Veil up there, you'll pretty much get like get it up every single time. You'll be able to do a lot of damage with it, right? So, a Master is fainted there, which is good. That was another super effective Pokemon down. And out comes the Chandelure. So, I'm like, okay, well, I can go for a Max Geyser off my big special attack. This should easily be able to take this thing out. Now, what can Chandelure do to me outside of maybe Energy Ball or Will O Wisp? Like, what can it really do to me here? Maybe a Max Overgrowth on Dynamax. So, okay, it's probably going to use Max Overgrowth on Dynamax. Or it's just going for... I don't know. Or it's just going for like a Max Phantasm off its big special attack. Or it's a, another set. I don't really know. Or maybe they'll go for Max Guard to stall out, uh, you know, one of my G-Max's uh, turns, which would work as well. Like there's a couple of options there. But really, Chandelure didn't scare me very much at all. Like maybe a crit, that's about it. So they're going to opt to go for the Max Guard, which is a good play there, stalling out a turn of my, uh, you know, Lapras there. And that's that's probably the best. I, I, I say I would have done the same thing there too, because that was my last turn. So now I'm thinking here, I can go for Hydro Pump here. This should do an enormous amount of damage. Will it take it out? It's going to be very, very close. So go for Hydro Pump. Here comes the Max Flutterby. That's a good play there because that's going to drop my special attack. Like, like the last battle there. Lapras hangs on on 25 health, which is great. And now I can actually go for... Actually, was that... I'm trying to think like that's coming off. I think that might be coming off Infestation. I, I could be wrong. So uh, we're going to go for Hydro Pump there. And Chandelure is going to fall off the roof. Man, imagine if you had a Chandelure that big. That like be ma You need like a massive roof for that. And like extra supports and everything. So bye bye Chandelure. There are a couple of Pokemon still left here. We got the Berserker. So Berserker is going to get hit pretty hard here. Unless it's a very, very tanky set. It could outspeed me too. There is that option. So I've got Hydro Pump and I've got Thunder. Both of them are probably going to do around the same damage there. I decided to go for the Hydro Pump here. Uh, however, the uh, Berserker is going to be a special set and go for the Hype Voice and take out Lapras. That's okay. I've still got one more Lapras here, which is good. So since it's a special set, it doesn't have uh, anything like Throat Spray. I was like, well, I should be able to set up you know, reasonably well here. I've got Dragon Dance and I've got Drill One, which would be great. Now, the item on this Lapras was Wide Lens 2 since I was running Aqua Tail and Drill Run. They can have annoying tendencies to miss when you really, really need them. So I thought that'd, you know, alleviate that problem there. So outspeeding this one, this is a speedy set. I've got, uh, yes, Jolly Nature on this one. Uh, after a Dragon Dance, it's fairly fast then. So we got a high voice coming from the Berserker. It's about a four to five hit KO. So I don't have to worry about this one at all. I can simply, I could go for another Dragon Dance here, but just in case I get critted or something like that, I'm probably just going to go for Drill Run here and take it out there. So turning myself into a Drill and Berserker lives, which is pretty impressive there. Um, that is definitely a max health one. And here's another high voice. So it's about, I'd say it's about a four to five hit KO, judging whether I get like hit by you know, uh, max or min damages. So bye-bye, Berserker. Now, there's only one more Pokemon left here. My opponent has already used a Dynamax here, and it's Lunatones. Like, I should be able to take this out with Aquatail, which will be nice. Unless this is like, 
I don't know, Pasho Bro, like max health, max defense here. That's about the only thing I have to worry about. So going for Actile, obviously outspeeding the, the Lunatone. And Lunatone is going to go down in one shot. And that, my friends, is the second battle with the Lapras form slash evolution team. Hope you really enjoy this. I'll be back tomorrow with a, another video. Actually, I think it's a Pokemon sweep. Peace out.